Hello everyone and welcome to Mongafish channel. In today's video I'm going to be teaching you how to do cartwheel and it is the one of the most basic acrobatic moves. So before we start it's a good idea to do some warm-up to avoid any injuries or muscle pains for tomorrow. So here I did really quick warm-up for myself but you should use a little bit more time and move your all joints and stretch yourself. So the first step is that you have to figure out which leg is your good leg. So you can do it by trying to do handstand with one leg and second leg and see which is your best. First you start with your right leg. Later go with your left leg. So the leg which you feel more comfortable with is your dominant leg and you should start with this one and of course you can learn for your both sides but the best way is to learn for your good side first. And in this video I'm going to show you two versions of cartwheel. One is more gymnastic and second is from capoeira. Important is that when you're going to start to learn cartwheel you have to start with your face this direction and finish with this direction. Common mistake is that people trying to learn cartwheel like this of course you can do it, but this is not the point. You should do like this. So you start in this position. Your arms are up, because it's easier for you to get this motion. Up. One hand, second hand, one leg, second leg. Something like this. It's really important that when you do cartwheel, that you have to keep your arms straight, because when you bend it, it's going to be more hard for you. One ten second and one ten second. Another thing that when you put your arms on the ground, don't move them. It's pretty simple. You know, one two one two. One two one two. Don't try to walk like. Don't do that. Of course, you can do this more dynamic. Okay, so now I will show you a few examples what you should not do. And when you do cartwheel, you have to try to keep yourself how straight you can. So you go one. And two more mistake is that people do something like this. And this is not correct. Of course you can do it, but it's not a point if you want to make a nice cargo. So And of course this will take a time to make a nice looking cardwheel and you have to just practice and practice and everyone can do it, it doesn't matter of your age or weight everyone can do it, you have to just train and okay so now as I promised I'm going to show you capoeira version and the technique is pretty much the same but completely different the first thing and the most important is that we look all the time forward because we have to follow our opponent or partner so we want to see everything so we start right here, we look here, look here, look here, all the time I see what is happening in front of me. And as you could see already that I didn't start to do like this, I go to the side, as I said before it's not correct, but in this case it's correct. Because in Capoeira it's not about being perfect, it's about flow and movement. So we go, we have jingle, we go. You can see, I go low, I look forward, and I go to the side. This is the three things what I do here. And this is completely different from this one what I showed you before. And the easiest way how to learn this is that you place your arms on the ground like this, and you just jump from one leg to another. So, one, two, and you go higher. Higher and higher. 
until you learn how to do cardio. I think this is more easy and more simple and I think it's easier to learn it this way and when you learn it you can just go into more advanced thing so you can do jingle, you go normal oh. Oh. now you go on one hand oh. now you go another hand oh. now you go without hand oh. so as you can see the card wheel is a pretty basic acrobatic movement which can build some cooler things for you in the future so yeah okay so now you know all basics about the card wheel and all mistakes what you should avoid so now it's just time for you to train it and practice a lot until you can do it so i hope that you enjoyed this kind of content and thank you for watching see you next time